Throwing a stand-up supper party for 15 when you're strapped for time may sound foolhardy, but it's the way I like it. You have no time to worry about anything. And besides, my food gives you nothing to worry about in the first place. Crab and avocado wraps are one of my proudest party pieces. Almost embarrassingly simple to make. That's 500 grams of crab meat going in the bowl, followed by two tablespoonfuls of mayonnaise from a job. And on top of that, about a tablespoon of wasabi, that viciously strong green sort of mustard horseradish from Japan. And finally in the crab meat, I want a few drops, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon of sesame oil. Now this is not enough to make this oily, but absolutely enough to infuse the whole with aromatic nuttiness. We'll mix together. Mm, lovely. These wraps have so much punch, but also taste so fresh. They're a lovely way to start a party. That, a drink, everyone's happy. Now the lettuce. I want about a quarter of a head of iceberg. Let's shred it. Oh, love the way the lettuce squeaks under my knife. Put that in the bowl. And the wrap in question. By wrap, I mean use a soft flour tortilla. Lay it in front of you. So you need about a sixth, I don't go weighing it, of the crab mixture, about two to three centimeters from the bottom of the wrap. This is enough for six rolls, which will make 18 wraps. And now, about half a small avocado, just gouge it out in curls with a teaspoon and lie that on top of the crab meat. So we'll need three avocados in all and a sprinkling of lettuce, yes, a sixth of what's in the bowl. Little spritz of lime or use lemon. And now we get a roll in. So just bring that up and then roll firmly, but calmly. And that's done. So the way to turn this fat stuffed cigar shape into elegant supper party canapé, admittedly of the bulging sort, but that's the way I like it, is to take a sharp knife and cut on the diagonal so you have three squat wraps. So I'm gonna get my platter and then I'll carry on with the remaining five. I think what's important when you have a party like this is to give food that you don't need cutlery for. Portion and quantities for parties is always a difficult one, but I think work on the principle that you must give enough to eat so people don't they have to rush out and get dinner somewhere else, but not so much that they feel every time they open their mouth to utter a bon mot, you're popping some morsel into it. Slightly my failing, I have to admit. Don't worry if these chunky wraps unfurl a little, either as you cut or as you convey them to the platter. And I can't help feeling that if you're this calm preparing for a party, it actually makes the atmosphere better when you're giving the party. So into the fridge with these will I get the wherewithal for my green apple martini. 